السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على النبي الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وبعد Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, it is my pleasure to welcome you again to our well-known program, Understanding Islam. My brothers and sisters, this program aims to improve our understanding regarding Islam. As we know that when we understand something properly, perfectly, when we, when we grasp something from its depth, we will be encouraged to accept it or reject it. And this is why we see in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that on the day of judgment, people will regret, lament and repent. And they will say, وَقَالُوا لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ مَا كُنَّا فِي أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ the people of hellfire will regret on the day of judgment and they will say وَقَالُوا لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَعْقِلُ If only we listened, if only we uh, understand the message of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the guidance that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gifted us then we wouldn't be from the people of hellfire. My brothers, understanding of Islam, this program aims to allow us to understand the various aspects of Islam more profoundly, deeply and properly. Inshallah, we believe this program will help you to act upon the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the message of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we were talking about the evil effects of drugs in our society, in our family, in our personal lives. In our previous uh, episodes, programs, we have discussed uh, various uh, aspects and elements of drugs and its evil consequences or results in our social life. My brothers, we do not actually need much explanation regarding the evil and the bad result of drugs in our society as we have been seeing it every day basis open the newspaper social medias everywhere tv televisions everywhere we seeing that a, a large number of our society is being affected by drugs imagine if these persons are related to you your sons your daughters your brothers sisters or someone really close to you and you really love that person and unfortunately sadly the person got affected or got addicted by drugs intoxicants or any sorts of these types of elements like cannabis heroin or other stuffs how are you gonna feel if this person is your brother your sister your friends Ah, you will be really, really disappointed. Life can turn into a really horrible and terrible. We see parents are crying. Brothers, sisters are extremely stressed regarding their relatives, their brothers, their siblings, just due to the drugs and these problems. These problems, my brothers and sisters, is so big, so huge, so damaging, ruining. It's, it's, it is ruining our society, friendships. It's ruining our families. When one single person is affected or addicted by drugs, the, the peace, the tranquility, the harmony, the social bond, everything goes away, flies away. You will see the family, entire family is stressed, anxious. They are really... Uh, I mean, in a big dilemma and problems, sometimes they neither can explain, express their sadness, their sorrow, or share this pain to anybody else because they know it's their own children, brother, sister, who got affected by this. My brothers, 
in our previous episode, I mean in the third episode, we talked about the root causes of this problem. So one of the cause that I discussed about this in the last program that when we do not have a really good atmosphere in our family, when there is no remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our family, when there is a stress in the family, when we see uh, the children, the members of the family have no really good and nice bond inside the family. There is no love, there is no attachment. It's just all everyone is uh, like a bit isolated than others. This sort of, I mean, a family atmosphere pushes the members of family sometime to go out to take others as their friends. And this is why sometimes slowly, gradually, they adopt diff different types of lives. And sometimes because of the tender age, because of the stress and anxiety, because of different types of problem, they don't even understand like what life are they going to take. Sometimes they adopt and take some path which they think for the time being is good for them. But in reality, it is the starting of a tunnel that will lead them, take them to destroy their life, to destroy the society and bring a huge stress and anxiety for their family. <clears throat> My brothers and sisters, today the, uh, the aspect that I would like to discuss with you, which is also one of the root cause or core element that lead many of us, our children, brothers, sisters, to take the life of addiction, which ultimately destroys their lives and our society. And this element is actually being friend of someone or taking someone as friends. My brothers and sisters, it is really important to see, to check who are you taking as your friends? Because our friends, our colleagues, and those who we live, play, and walk around, those who are, who are, uh, I mean, who are surrounding us, they play a great role to mold our life, to lead our life, to encourage our, us to do something, or to discourage us, to stay away from some things. My brothers and sisters, there is a well-known uh, uh, Persian poem which is known, very well-known between the ulamas, that Ya Rebad Bad Tarbuwad Az Maribad Haqq Dhati Paaki Allah Hussanad. The, the, the uh, poet is saying in this poem that Ya Rebad, the bad friend, is worse than a poisonous snake. Because a poisonous snake, what can it do? Maximum, it can destroy your life, it can kill you. But a poisonous snake can never lead you to Jahannam. Imagine a pious person, a good person. This person, if it is stung or beaten by a poisonous snake, he might die. And because of the pain, he might be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As it is said in the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the Muslim, the believer, will be rewarded from each and every single pain, even for the prick of a something like sharp, uh, like fish bone or any other things. Imagine if a poisonous snake stung someone or bite someone, this person will not be punished in hellfire for this. But remember and think and imagine about a friend who will, if if someone, if your friend gradually, slowly lead you towards uh, addiction or drugs, then if you die for this, or if you die with this habit, it will lead you to Jahannam. Forget about Jahannam, because Jahannam will happen later on. Imagine about this world and the situation that you're gonna face here. We are seeing day by day, every day, 
news is are coming from everywhere just because of one person being addicted in in one family the peace and the happiness of the entire family goes away and even the person who got addicted ultimately he suffers lots of types of pains the pain that he has got at this moment probably drug is helping him for a moment for one hour two hours three hours or a day or two but a time will come to this person that even using these drugs even medicines will not help him this person this person will not find any peace anywhere in this world because that bad is drug my brothers for this the the worst element that i was talking about is that taking a friend we need to be really careful who are we living with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqullah wa kunu ma'a sadiqin o you who are conscious of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who love allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who fear the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and wakunu ma'a sadiqeen, and be with good, righteous, pious peoples. Because when you live with pious people, good people, you will be encouraged to do something good. You will be motivated to do something good. And you will always hate and stay away and refrain from all types of bad things because good people's their talks will be always about good things so you will be motivated to do good things and stay away from bad things there is a nice poem which is also known to ulamas and scholars anil mar la tas'al wa bsir qarinahu fa inna al qarina bil maqarina yaqtadi the poet says anil mar la tas'al if you really want to know about someone someone do not look at him do not ask about him look at his friends look at his colleagues look at the people who he lives with who he goes out with them look at them because when a person lives with the people he will definitely be uh, impacted definitely be impressed and definitely will adopt some types of life that actually his friends uh, adopts with this is why prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says in a hadith which is also well known to everyone prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said says the al maru ma'a man ahab on the day of judgment people will be with those who he or she loved in this world if you love ulamas if you love scholars if you love people who actually worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has got pure life clean life good uh, i mean lifestyle if you love them on the day of judgment as they will be in jannah so you will be in jannah insha allah and if you love this type of people my brothers and sisters you will enjoy your life the peace and happiness will cover you you will be free from stresses and anxieties and you do not need to adopt any style of life any path they will give you momentary peace and happiness and later on is pain agony and problems after problems my brothers and sisters it is my pleasure and i feel like to share with you a beautiful hadith beautiful hadith of our prophet muhammad rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam listen to this hadith it's a really good hadith where prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam brought up for us a nice and beautiful example the hadith is mentioned in bukhari and muslim the both author authenticated the hadith it's a sahih hadith muttafaqun alayhi abu musa al ashari one of the great companion of prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam narrated that anna an nabiy sallallahu alayhi wasallam he narrated this hadith from the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam is saying he's giving an example a parable and he say inna ma mathalul jalis as-salih 
وَمَثَلُ جَلِيسِ السُّوءِ The example of good friends and example of bad friends. Professor Allah is saying, كَمَثَلِ الْكِي كَمَا كَحَامِلِ الْمِسْكِ وَنَافِخِ الْكِي Their example is like the carrier, the seller of perfume, fragrance and the blacksmith. Professor Allah has set an example of good people, good friends are like a, a seller of perfume and seller of a fragrance, good smell. If you sit next to them, if you go to a perfume shop, what are you going to get? Professor Allah is saying, Imma an Whether your friend, if your friend is a seller of perfume, your friend will gift you. Normally when we visit a perfume shop, what do we see? Uh, we, if, if the person, if the seller is our friend, even if the seller is not friend, still he will offer you some perfume to smell. Prob probably for, his, uh, the, for the purpose of selling. But still, you will get the good smell. Subhanallah. This is the art of our Prophet This is the style of expression and explanation of the Prophet Muhammad He's saying that if you sit down next to your friend, he is as if a seller of perfume, if he is a good friend. Then either you will buy something from him or he will give you something as gift. And even if, if you do not buy something, neither he gives you something, but still you can smell something good. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَإِمَّا أَن تَجِدَ مِنْهُ رِيحًا طَيِّبًا Either at least you will get some good smell from him. And Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, the example of bad friend, كَنَّافِخِ الْكِيرِ Like the example of a blacksmith. If you sit down next to a blacksmith, what will happen? إِمَّا أَن يَحْرِكَ ثِيَابَكِ Whether he will burn your clothes because Probably some sparkle of fires will fall you on your cloth, which will uh, either, uh, I mean, burn your cloth or it will leave some black spots uh, or dots on your cloth. Or Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if it doesn't burn, if it doesn't leave any black spot on your cloth, at least you'll get some bad smell because the smell of burning metals and irons subhanallah my brothers and sisters look at this beautiful example we can understand when we adopt someone as our friend if this person or if these persons are bad they have got bad lifestyle they've got i mean uh, they are addicted or they do not remember Allah. You never see them, they talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You do not see them, that they are actually talking about the akhirah. You do not see them ever, like they are excited to do something good. Remember, these friends cannot bring any benefit for you. Rather, you will be susceptible. You will be exposed to them, to gradually and slowly lead or motivated to do something bad. My brothers and sisters, many of us, initially we think, okay, they are just my friend. I'm, I, I know they are bad. I know they are bad. So I'm not going to take their lifestyle. I'm not going to adopt their things. But what will happen? Because you are staying with them, because you are living with them, because you, for, you are going out with them day by day, slowly and gradually, the whole thing is going to be really normal to you. Initially, if you see someone is taking drugs, you will be so annoyed, annoyed disturbed. You will feel so bad. Now, like we see people who do not use drugs, who do not use cannabis, who do not like to uh, take any sort of intoxicants, when they smell it, they feel vomit because of the bad smell. When we get in lift or elevator, we sometimes we smell that. We have to close our nose because of the dirty and bad smell. But when you are living with these people, day by day it will be normal to you. And later on, probably you will come across a time in your life which will be really stressful. 
you will face problem. Shaitan will appear at that time. And Shaitan will lure you. Shaitan will come to you. Okay, why don't you take this? Your friends will appear before you, disguising as a, as a human being, as a helper. And he will offer you, yeah, some sort of, dry, uh, I mean, uh, drinks or tea. Something that you will take. And you will feel so relaxed, so peaceful. And then he will say, uh, you will say, oh, my, uh, my friend, you know, that drink that I take, uh, I took the other day, it was really nice. It helped me. And he will offer you. Initially, he will offer you one day, two day free. Later on, you're going to be, you're going to be addicted with it. And you will see your life is too tough. You will struggle without this sort of drinks. Then you have to buy. A time, you will start taking money from different persons. Then everyone will realize. Everyone will stop. And then you cannot even have money. That will gradually lead you to do something that you yourself don't like to do it. My brothers and sisters, this is how bad our friends could be. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, A'udhu billahi min shaytan rajim Wa yawma ya'addu al-zalimu ala yadayhi yaqool Yaqoolu ya laytan ittakhazdu ma'ar rasool sabila Ya waylata laytani lam attakhiz fulanan khalila Subhanallah. Allah says on the day of judgment they will regret, they will lament and they will bite their hands instead of finger Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to exaggerate the matter Allah says they will start biting their whole hands and they will say Ya laytan ittakhaztu ma'ar rasool sabila Alas, why didn't we take Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's path? يا ويلتا ليتني لم أتخذ فلانا خليلا Alas, regret, they will regret and say Why didn't we take, why did I take uh, the so and so as my friends لقد أضلني عن الذكر بعد إذ جاءني Because my friend made me forget the guidance The message of صلى الله سبحانه وتعالى After it came to me, my brothers this is the evil consequence of the drugs, of the intoxicants. As we are believers, we all should try to stay away from such terrible things. Once you get involved, it will be too hard for you to get out of this. My brothers, we all need to be really vigilant, careful, alert, so that we ourselves we do not get involved such in such things. And also, if we see someone in our family, in our society, in our friends and colleagues go involved in it, we should try our best to help this person. And inshallah, in our next uh, episodes, we will talk about some other elements, some other co causes that might lead a person to adopt the, the dark life. And we will talk about the remedies that will inshallah help us to get out of it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to stay away from anything that displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything that leads to Jahannam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a peaceful and a happy and a blessed life. Ameen. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Wassalamu ala liqa'itha. Oh.